main goal to change the mentality of the people who is living here or is not living here but feeling they are Armenian. And the first goal is change our attitude from survival to prosperity. I think it's very critical where we'll be becoming more risk-taking, open-minded, believing in our bright future. And uh, second, I want to show what everything is possible. The people will believe, well, despite all the problems that they're facing in a different level, you can change your life, you can change life around you, and it's nothing can stop you if you believe that you have a right idea and right vision. You know the stories in Armenia, the diaspora invest without looking if it makes sense or not, or just giving charity money which creates some wrong attitude, waiting the money will come again and again. So we are talking about not just diaspora will stop to do investment, but diaspora needs to do smart investment. Again, it's uh, all very well known in the world. It's a couple industries which are creating a lot of jobs, and one of them is tourism, because it's creating opportunity, opportunity for small and medium-sized companies, for individuals to provide the services, and it's not request a lot of capital investment from them. Tourism, which we hope will become one of the key drivers of transformation of Armenia, will get tens of thousands of jobs, around 80,000 jobs, uh, and uh, if they will stay not three days, they will stay one week, but tourism is definitely one of the industries which will uh, be driver of the job creation and economic growth potential. First of all, when you're an entrepreneur, you need to be ready to fail. And uh, don't be scared to fail. And you always have a risk. Whatever you're doing, doing immigration from one place to other, or doing something, starting something new, you're always taking a risk to fail and to start again. The second, I think it's um, very often, very often the people using the reasons to say why it's not possible to, to convince themselves why we're not doing something. Unfortunately, most of the people don't want to take the risk and they just want to find an argument why they're sitting and not doing anything. And it's not only Armenian behavior, it's worldwide. Uh, all nationalities have the same issue. How you can become successful is a question to understand your strengths, your weaknesses, to get the right time and right resources and be consistent and patient because it requires a lot of efforts and a lot of pain which needs to suffer just because you have your dream. That's why the first is your dream. You need to identify your dream and understand how the dream can be realized. Second, you need to have people who will trust you and follow you. And third, you will need to be consistent.